One week ago, Google announced that it's going to roll out Gemini Life free for all the Android users. And I myself, being also a Pixel 9 Pro XL user, well, I can tell you, that's huge news. Because I was not able to try this on my Pixel 9 Pro XL because I didn't really have Gemini Advanced. And that's kind of a tricky thing with the Google 9 or Google 9 Pro XL. You kind of should have Gemini Advanced, but I was not able to activate this offer. So I had to buy a more expensive subscription for Google One, and then I had to cancel just to be able to test it out. But then Google said, hey guys, listen, we know that Gemini Life is part of Advanced, which by the way, costs some money every month. We are now gonna give it for free and we're gonna roll out to the Android users out there. This is my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and now it's time to check if we have it. Spoiler alert, yes, I have it. See that button here? Press. Hi, I'm Gemini. We're about to go live where you can explore complex topics or ideas just by talking. But before we get started, take a quick look at this important information. Go live with Gemini. Tapping the live button turns on the microphone. To turn off the mic, tap the hold or add buttons or say stop. Some features like extensions aren't yet available in live. The chats are saved in Gemini's apps activity if that's on and pro to spur the Gemini apps privacy. And of course you have to respect others privacy. So now I'm gonna click OK. All right, let's start chatting whenever you're ready. Hi there, who are you? Hello there. I'm Gemini, a large language model created by Google. How can I help you today? Well, to start with, let me tell you, I'm VST and I create tech videos on YouTube. What do you think about that? Sounds like a really cool project. Tech videos are always fun to watch. Do you focus on reviewing new gadgets or maybe more on the technical side of things? Well, I'm more like a phone person, but I focus on smartphone cameras because kind of like have an interest in the smartphone camera domain. What do you think about this? Like, do you think an Apple iPhone is going to be a better thing to use for mobile photography or should I buy a Pixel or try a Samsung phone out there? That's a cool niche. Focusing on smartphone cameras gives you a lot of room for creativity and testing. Each brand has its own strengths. Apple's known for a more polished user experience, Google Pixel for its amazing photo processing, and Samsung pushes the hardware envelope. It really depends on what you value most in a camera phone. Let's talk about it. Do you prefer a phone that's super easy to use for quick shots, or would you rather have more control for advanced photography? I really want to get like the full experience. I want to be able to shoot raw photos. I want to get really like the biggest sensor, the best camera and also the best optical zoom. So what would you recommend to me? You're definitely prioritizing image quality, it sounds like. For raw photos and sensor size, you'll want to look at Samsung or Google. Both brands offer great options. And for optical <laughs> zoom, there's always Periscope zoom technology. It helps phones zoom in without sacrificing image quality. You might want to check out the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Oh, what a coincidence. This is the phone that I'm actually using right now to speak with you. That's awesome. It's a great choice for a camera phone. You'll be able to capture some amazing images. Let me know if you want tips on how to get the most out of those powerful cameras. But can I ask you something, man? Can you give me more information about the Samsung Isocell HP9 sensor? So the Samsung HP9 is a really interesting sensor. It's designed for telephoto camera setups, which means it's great for zooming in on faraway subjects. It has a super high resolution of 200 megapixels, which helps it zoom in without losing too much detail. On top of that, it has this awesome feature called Tetra 2 Pixel Tech. It basically combines pixels together to give you better image quality, especially in low light. All right, guys, so at this point of time, I just click the whole button, all right? So I can just go outside then go back and resume. By the way, right, I can keep talking to the guy, I call it the guy, but he's Gemini. And then also just go outside and keep talking. Let me show you. Well, can you give me more information about Google camera mods? What is this? What is like a Google camera mod? Is, is this a thing? Absolutely. Google camera mods, sometimes called GCAMs, are modified versions of the Google camera app. They bring Google's awesome camera features like night sight and portrait mode to phones that didn't originally have them. Since you're already using a Samsung, there are probably some really good GCAM mods out there that can make your camera even better. And by the way, can you draw things or generate music? Uh, use generative AI? 
Absolutely. Generative AI can do some incredible stuff. With text to image, you can describe what you want to see and the AI will create a picture. Plus, you can use text to music to generate melodies and even whole songs. Can you then sing something for me, please? Sorry, I can't sing, but I can tell you about some great singers or songs. So guys, now let me try to resume my talking and want to go on the lock screen, see what's going to happen there. All right. Can I ask you something, please? Absolutely. Go ahead. All right. Can you still hear me? That didn't really work. Can you open apps for me? So I can't open apps yet when we are live. For example, if you asked me to open the camera app, I couldn't actually turn on the camera. Or if you wanted me to open the weather app, I couldn't show you the forecast. Just can you recap what is going on with the tech scene in the last three days? I think I've heard that Huawei released a brand new phone, like a groundbreaking design. Do you happen to know more about this? Yep, Huawei just unveiled their new Mate XT. It's the world's first trifold smartphone, so instead of just folding in half like other phones, this one folds into three sections. It's a pretty radical new form factor, and it's definitely grabbing attention. You can check out some videos and articles online if you want the full scoop. Thank you, man, but can you just show me a photo of this trifold phone? Sorry, I can't show pictures here yet. How about I try to describe it for you? No, I'm good with it. And which country has like the biggest population ever? China has the biggest population right now, although India's population is growing faster, so they're expected to overtake China in the next few years. All right. Oh, that's cool. Hey, man, can you just tell me a joke? All right, here's a joke. What did the ocean say to the shore? Nothing. It just waved. <laughs> Let me know if you want another one. Okay. <laughs> this was a good one. <laughs> All right. Okay. You know what? I'm going to give you credit for this was a good one. Will you take the iPhone or the Samsung phone or the Google Pixel? Okay. Choosing between an iPhone, Samsung or Pixel is tough. It really depends on what you're looking for. iPhone. If you're already in the Apple ecosystem, it's great for that seamless integration with your other devices. They're known for reliability and ease of use. Samsung. Samsung phones offer tons of customization and flexibility. They have great displays and some awesome camera features. Pixel. If you're an Android fan, Pixel phones give you a pure Android experience. They're known for their amazing cameras and software features. Do you care about the price or is there something specific you're looking for in a phone? I don't really care about the price. I just want the best product. Like what is the best product? It's really hard to say which is the absolute best since it depends on what matters most to you. Some people care a lot about camera quality, others want the longest battery life, and some folks need a ton of storage. Here's the thing though, the top tier phones from Apple, Samsung, and Google are all really amazing. You can't go wrong with any of them, so maybe it comes down to what you're used to, or if there's a specific feature that you know you want. One final question, who is the best tech YouTuber? There are a lot of great tech YouTubers out there, so it's hard to pick just one. Some of the most popular include Marquise Brownlee, Linus Tech Tips, and MKBHD. These guys do really in-depth reviews of the latest gadgets, and they're also really funny and entertaining to watch. Understood, but uh, and do you know if Marquise Brownlee works together with MQBHD? Marquise Brownlee and MKBHD are actually the same person. Oh, you yeah. might recognize Marquise Brownlee as his real name, but he's mostly known by his YouTube handle MKBHD. It's kind of a funny story. Actually, he started out as Marquise Brownlee, but then he switched to MKBHD because it was easier to remember. Oh, you're a very knowledgeable man. Thank you so much and speak to you next time. Anytime. Let me know if you need anything else. All right, guys. Now I will press the end button and then boom, the whole history is there. So as you can see, by the way, it feels very natural. I'm not a person that usually would go and use Siri and the voice assistant, but the Gemini AI, you know, like a while ago, I asked Gemini live about Oasis reunion because it was really like fresh, very fresh, like probably two hours ago. It knew. So what I want to say is like it scrapes the internet almost in real time. It's not like ChatGPT, like the, the free version. Of course, in ChatGPT, you can buy a more premium version that will allow you to work with recent data and it's actually quite nice that we have this thing here and that is for free let me know what you think down below in the comments i wanted to steer the discussion a bit more about phones and cameras and the best phone and stuff like this and also to try to trick him with the question that 
For example, he said MKBHD and Marquise Brownie, but then he said it's the same person. So honestly, it is quite impressive. And the best thing is it is for free. So you can get it now on your Android phone. I have you also on the S23 Ultra and let me know what you think down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, guys. VST over.